second weekly vlog i feel so like naked right now because i've got scrub off fake tan off last night i've taken my eyelashes off my eyebrows aren't too bad actually um i'm getting my hair done on friday i'm so excited i don't really know what i'm going to get done yet but i'm just really excited look at this room this is the room in the house that just seems to you tidy it and then this happens. So I've got like clean washing to put away, this to sort, that to go in the loft, primer call, and the children are calling. So I'm off downstairs to carry on sorting their dinner out. It's like um, seven o'clock, so anyway, I'm off to go and get them sorted and I will speak to you in a little while. So I'm just about to do some fake tan on my face because I think it's desperately needed and I'm still using the Skinny Tan Wonder Serum on my face. I just find it seems to be the best one for my face um, and I use the mousse for everywhere else. I'm also going to say to you, I'm going to put my lashes back on. Oh my gosh guys, I had to take them off last night with the like a dual phase remover and it was eight days and I had to take them off with a remover because they hadn't come off. And yeah, they were stuck on. Like I had to get them off with a remover. I can't believe it. Like, I don't know how they stay on. What I also want to show you is how I clean them. So I've soaked them. As soon as I take them off, I put them in some um, alcohol. Now I bought this off eBay. Just 91% pure alcohol. And I soak them in this little dish. And then this is what comes off them. So this is like glue and, and all the makeup and stuff that's built up on it. And this is them cleaned up. So as you can see, I've worn these a couple of times. They're never going to be as nice as fresh gossamers. But I mean the fluffy ones especially. I've worn these now for a couple of months. So they are fine. Morning guys. Happy Tuesday this end. Um, mad day yesterday. Lucas had a little nap. I, I thought I was missing an eyelash then. Um, I just quickly got up. It is like, time is it? Well, I haven't, I've got up early this morning. It's seven, half seven now. I'm just going to get Leo ready for school. Um, we've had a bit of a mishap here. So, got back from the gym last night. I went and did two classes. Got home. I thought, what is that noise? It's like a river running in the wall. Yeah, so my leak that I had is back with a vengeance. Oh, oh hello, mister. Um, you're eating a biscuit. You're eating a biscuit? Mm. Jumping. And now you're jumping. Okay. Yeah, so we've got a leak in the house. And it is running right down the wall. We've got... This huge wet patch right by my light switch, lovely. And also this wall, it's like the plaster is soaked. We've got no skirting on here still, so we can feel the wet plaster. And, and also a nice puddle down there. Yeah. Um, I'll tell a second mate for the bath. So yeah, we're just waiting for home surf to come out. I've strong mum and dad to see if they can come round and help out because obviously Leo's got to go to school in a bit um, they're coming between 8 and 1 <sighs> I just don't know what to do I feel just so angry about it and upset but never mind no. can I do anything about it luckily I'm covered and let's go and sort these kidsies out Daddies. also I wanted to say to you if you are a British gas customer, this isn't sponsored, just saying. I have my gas and electric through British Gas and I'll get British Gas rewards. And if you sign up to them at the moment, they've got a voucher code for Hive. So I get, I can all the potty. <laughs> I get, I've got a 50% off voucher until the end of January. Um, I can't share my code with you because it's like you can only use it so many times per person, otherwise I would. But if you have got British Gas Rewards and you sign up and get this voucher, it's amazing. I have got the Hive cameras in this house for the, ba the boys' baby monitors and also the outdoor cameras. And the outdoor camera is amazing, so I've bought it for 
the back garden because Matt's gym is in the back garden and so it's not attached to the house so we bought another camera for that and I'll show you outdoor camera another one of these these are normally like 200 pounds and I got it for 89 and then I also got myself another plug because these are amazing for energy saving um, we got a hive signal booster because the gym signal is a bit iffy and I also got one of these to try because I got it for like 12 pounds and it's a sensor that you put on the door and it tells you it, like, it sends you a notification to your phone every time your door opens or your window opens so I've got that for the front door because we had new seals put on our front door and so oh hold on home server here about the leak ah hi guys it is wednesday um oh yesterday with that leak we managed to get it fixed with home serve which i'm so grateful for however i have now got see if you can see in here mono stain and it's also all behind the sofa it was coming, the water was coming out of this light switch in the kitchen. And also, as you can see on the camera, but we've got some nice water underneath our floor. You can see it. It's like lifted it up here as well. Um, we've got quarry tiles in the kitchen. So when you have vinyl on quarry tiles, you have to have hardboard. So the water has got underneath and like saturated the hardboard. So I really don't know what to do. Obviously going to have to have it replaced because it could potentially grow mould under there and which could be dangerous. But it's like, do we claim off the house insurance or do we just leave it for now? Because we can't afford to pay to get it done right now. So, oh, uh, I went to the gym last night, my body aches and mentally I've woke up feeling really bad, but really horrible today. And I know it's not like me, but I'm normally really positive. But honestly today, I feel so down. Um, I just, I'm not feeling myself. And it's really frustrating actually, because going to the gym normally um, makes me feel so much happier. And I don't know, I almost feel guilty for going. I I'm in that position at the moment, I think, where I really want to get a job because I really want to be able to not be worrying about money. But childcare is so expensive. I inquired the other day and they wanted £28.50 for four hours, or five hours, from half seven to 12. I'm like, that's 100 and something, £120 a month for half a day a week. What could I do in half a day? I mean, if I went to work, I wouldn't make that much money. I mean, I just don't understand how people do it. So I'm just having a bit of a bummer day today. But I'm gonna pick myself up. I'm going to film a video today. Um, I'm going to put some fake tan on, make myself feel a bit brighter. Um, yeah, make myself a cup of tea, I suppose. <laughs> Okay, so I just thought I'd show you a couple of things that I've bought because God, my breath just caught the stairs. <laughs> if you watched my Primark haul the other day, you'll know that I bought a few things that were not fitness because I did a fitness haul. So I just thought I'd quickly show you what I got. I got these over the door hooks. They were two pounds for three. So I just got a few of these for the boys' rooms. Excuse Lucas, he's getting in a tantrum because you can't play skittles properly and then i also got these stainless steel straws and you get four and a brush for two pound fifty and i thought they were amazing because when i get the boys um mcdonald's like when i get leo and mcdonald's and those straws i mean i know they're trying to be environmentally friendly but they just disintegrate don't they so i've got those candle from home bargains my favorite scent is back in the pink rhubarb and pear i love these candles they're three pounds amazing and i also got some imperial leather raspberry flamingo i saw these on a friend of mine who's also got a youtube channel called belinda she um bought like eight of them <laughs> or something because she said they smelled so nice so i went and bought one and she is right they do smell lovely playing egg and spoon rice now and also some batiste dry shampoo which was 3.99 for a large one 
that is all I got but I just thought I would show you because clearly there's not enough to do a haul and look at him down there I'm going to go in there help him now because he clearly needs some help although he's cleaning his wheels cleaning your tyres oh yeah you're cleaning cleaning your wheels yeah that's my phone, better go. Just whacked on some motivational music on Alexa while I did the boys' breakfasts. They're downstairs eating the cereal. This is my time to pop up and quickly do my face and hair. I'm going to try this morning the um, BB cream. That's actually from Home Bargains. This is only, I think, one ninety nine or something like that. Um, and I bought it in light. And I'm going to give it a go because my Garnier is running out. Ignore my hair, I haven't done it yet. Also ignore these. This is why I wear false nails. My nails are horrendous. And also, I pick my thumbs and fingers when I don't have nails on. It's like a nervous stress habit. Um, so that is why I always have nails on. And also, my fingers are like sausages. <laughs> it's just like short and chubby. So without nails on, they just don't look nice at all. I don't think. Let's crack this this open and see how we get on i've heard amazing things about this i've actually bought this last year sometime and i've only just got around to using it because my garnier has lasted that long got a have you finished your breakfast you finish your breakfast it's coming now right first uh impressions so smooth and silky Oh, I like it. Do you know what? Mom. This is amazing. I'm going to win. Now. What, darling? Win. Oh, thank you. Is that what I've won? He's come to bring me um, a dishcloth. The formula is lovely and it's going really far. I think I've actually put too much on. Because... I've put on what I normally wear of the Garnier and this is actually seems to be a better coverage to be honest. I mean look at that on my That is amazing. I'm loving that. You be careful. If you're going down, turn around, don't forget. He's just started doing the stairs on his own. Yeah. Okay, you be careful. He gives me heart attack but he is so capable of it now right that is oh my gosh look at that that is amazing guys get yourself down to home bargains and grab some of that bad boy see it's already lighting my mood already just by finding a nice cheap makeup beautiful Right, I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup off now. Not that I've got a lot to do because I've got my lashes fly on still. And my eyebrows are still tinted, so I'm just going to put a bit of bronzer on and then go and sort out the boys for school. Well, Leo for school. Lucas for driving me mad all day. I've got the dentist today. I'm going to get my last Invisalign checkup. Looking nice and straight now. Just going to get all these little. No, Jules taken off hopefully, thank God, because they give me ulcers. But I will do an update for that and I'll let you know. Hi guys, this vlog is a bit all over the place this week, isn't it? Um, so I've had the insurance out, they're going to approve the claim, but oh my gosh, is there going to be so much work to be done? <sighs> so, insurance job is going ahead pretty much kitchen, living room, dining room, all downstairs really, with a two year old. <laughs> Just to look at the positives that I'm getting a new floor, even though I've only had that one down about four years and I actually really like it, but <laughs> you know. Happy Wednesday guys. Hi guys, so I just thought I'd pop on. This is gonna be, this seems like such a long vlog and I feel like I might have really gone on. Um, I just wanted to say though that there was a jump because I had my hair done and um, I don't think I mentioned it because I did put a 
come to the salon with me on so i just thought i'd quickly mention around here in case you haven't seen that video and you think wait a minute her hair looks different so yeah i had my hair done i had a full head of foils and i had loads cut off so if you haven't seen it i really hope you like it i'm so so pleased with it um but yeah i've kind of done this vlog over like friday to friday well like i've done this vlog kind of over two weeks instead of one we'll have an update next week about what is going on with the house and stuff from um, what needs to be done so i'm really excited i'm trying to be positive about it and i'm really excited to show you what we're going to do <sighs> it's going to be a tough one but i'm feeling loads better i've perked up this the end of this week and um you know i think this vlog has just been a really good way of letting you know that we all have bad days but it's just about how you bring yourself out of those bad days is what's important so i am just at the moment backing up loads of foils on my computer being really really fun and um it's actually looking tidy in here now look yay because for most apart from apart from lucas has been in here but yeah most of this vlog this room has probably looked a mess and i've eventually tidied it all so it's looking lovely and neat and tidy so we are off to primark to take some stuff back do you ever get it with children where you like determined to get out of the house and then once you're out of the house you're just thinking why why did i do this to myself <laughs> hi guys so i'm back from primark i only went in to swap my that camo gym wear set that i bought in my last haul that i loved but i had to wear everything in a smaller size because i forgot about the sizing thing and um i uh may have spent the uh, money that I returned so I'm probably going to do another Primark haul <laughs> um, there's some home bits in there and some sale bits so yeah if you want me to do it I will I don't want to bore you all but I'm always so I always love seeing what people buy so yeah if you want me to do that I will film that later just let me know in the comments below and yeah I am going to wrap the vlog up now because I feel like I have rambled onto you so much. But yeah, I will leave you to it now. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm so enjoying doing them. So I've got to go because Lucas is shouting me and you know, I will speak to you all soon guys. Take care. Bye.